All right, everyone. So this week we will also go through uh, this uh, PDF that I have opened over here. The PDF is uh, the file name is like this, and it's included in the links that you have. Okay, so you can check out the description. The the favorite brushes, strokes, and alpha is uh, the first topic I'll cover today, and then the second is uh, how you can reset all the brushes to the default original settings. Very useful. The third is uh, how do we use uh, alphas effectively. Keeping in mind of how focus shift affects the age of our alpha, and then the fourth one is importing an alpha. So each of these topics will also be in a separate video. Okay, so let's get started with the first topic. So favorite brush. So this is now our brush over here, number one to number nine on the keyboard. Creep you up, pitch polish, inflate, snake hook, them standard, up crack, pinch, uh, play drag, drag rectangle, tip curve and a slice curve. So it's all on our keyboard, number one to number nine and zero. Okay, so uh, I'll teach you more about zero next time. So we leave it at default setting, it's all good. So uh, keep in mind that uh, I want to show you this uh, this information here, but we don't really need to change the default settings. Okay, uh, look at all the strokes, it's all different. So it, it actually creates a different brush based on the settings and the strokes that it use. And then the, and uh, it's just good for us to know how the different brushes makes a difference by adjusting different settings and different strokes and alphas. Okay, but uh, you don't really, really need to change it. You can uh, just uh, know this information right now and uh, you can play around at your other time. But uh, most of the time when you're jumping around your different hotkeys on your keyboard, it, the default setting is already very, very useful. So keep uh, getting used to all these brushes and it should be good. One thing to take note is uh, number eight, tray drag rectangle brush is a little bit different. So when you press num our number eight brush, okay, you can you can see that the stroke setting is under drag rectangle. So it's meant for you to drag out one alpha or texture using an image at a time. So it is actually very accurate for creating alphas. And then the third option is uh, you are meant you you are able to keep changing the alpha here. Okay, you are supposed how this brush. I, that I created works for you is that you're supposed to keep changing the alpha. So this is the only difference. You keep changing the alpha here and you keep applying a different alpha uh, depending on what you're sculpting. Okay, so I'll also go through more on this on the next video. Okay, so see you then.